Welcome to PRP Farms. this morning for the opening ceremonies of the 2021 Homesteaders of America convention and there is the star of the show super helper herself Angel Faye and Nini the super helper wrangler <laughs> Waiting in line to check in, and Angel has spotted her one of her first ones. Who'd you spot? Doug. It's amazing, you'd be surprised. Why? Why'd you make it? He's taking time to talk to him. barefooted. Did you have your piece? Yeah, yeah. Good, yeah, it's awesome. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Glad you guys made it. Glad you guys made the trip. Good morning, Doug. How are you? I'm good. That's good. <laughs> she's already on it. Here, yeah. I'll do it. You got Oh, she Stacey. saw she saw you up there and she's like, you're going to have to find Stacy. Oh. Oh. You know your name is not really Doug. Your name is Doug and Stacy. Doug and yeah, that's how that Every time she sees you, it's yeah, Doug and Stacy. Yeah. There's Doug and Stacy. Whether she sees either one of you, y'all both Doug and Stacy. <laughs> Say thank you. thank you. And then have Stacy sign right next to it. Good morning. Good morning, Doug. Y'all have a blessed day. You. Enjoy watching yeah. you. Thank you so much for coming out. Good morning. Check-in has started. Foggy day today here in Northern Virginia.
Angel, what you thinking? <laughs> I know you can hear me. Ooh, Ooh, there we go. I was just talking to them down here in the front. Hi. Okay. So obviously there are thousands of people still out there. <laughs> but you guys are special. You get to hear opening ceremony this morning. I'm going to get started because we have lots of things planned today. Claire, did all of you get a program? No? Okay. If you didn't get a program, there are some down at the ticket booth. We'll try to bring some up here to put at the apparel station as well so you can grab one. We also have some schedules and vendor maps floating around somewhere. Pictures or no pictures, and she said dad pictures because sometimes you can be boring. So anyway, you've got to be grounded. Um, but anyway, so, you know, vets, like I say, if, if everybody used a vet as much as we did, they would be broke. And um, we love vets, we love their ability to speak for things that can't speak for themselves and their study and, and certainly a lot of their, their time and energy. But a lot of times it does end up using a lot of big pharma, um, pharmaceuticals and drugs and medications, and at the same time costing you a lot. Um, so how can we, what are some steps that we can do to farm without it? And, and I saw a little boy, so I thought it was your boy. <laughs> How you been? I've been doing pretty good. I like this syrup, by the way. It's been good. <laughs> good, 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 good. Later. Deb, you're one of her favorite ones to watch. Oh, trust me. Thank you. <laughs> she got excited at six o'clock this morning. She thought she was getting out of the car. Yep. That work? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Well, we're gonna miss the Doug and Stacy. It's just too many people here. You just can't get up to it. And I can't stand for an hour and a half. So we're gonna walk around and look at all these vendors out here. <sighs> Angel, is there any particular thing for vendor thing you wanna look at other than food? We didn't bring no cash. You'll have to use your card every time, won't you? If you can use your card, get her an ice cream. Hey, let's go look at the Stark Brothers deal. Because that's where we want to get our blackberry bushes. I think that's where you decided to get. Yeah, that's where we want to get our blackberry bushes from. And there was something else we were wanting to get from them, I think. Well, any of our bushes we were talking about. Flat rate shipping, four ninety nine. This one. Look, Angel, he's got a color page. Good morning. Good morning. How are y'all doing? Marty Bush. Good. Uh, we're looking at getting some black. We're gonna get some blackberry bushes from y'all this year. We've got some flyer with coupon codes on it. Oh, coupons are always friendly. Yeah. Awesome. Just kind of flyer summarizing all the different kind of varieties of things we have. Now, if I understood right, on one of the YouTubers I watched. If we order and it's not in season for it to be planted, y'all hold it and then ship it to us when it is ready? Yes. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. So I believe we're still shipping blackberries this fall right now. And then, okay. Oh, it is time to get more. Yeah, you can still okay. plant in the fall. Okay. And then if they uh, run out of a variety you're interested in or um, for whatever reason they're done shipping to mm -hmm. like your area, then you can place the order and then it'll ship as yeah. soon as it's ready in the spring. That's okay. why we, we, we decided we want to get a small hedge of, of blackberries mm -hmm. and then I want to get I want to get some uh, strawberries like too. What do you say girl? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Are they Where are you guys located? Beaumont, Texas. <laughs> yeah. We were just chatting with someone else from Texas just a minute ago. <laughs> Yeah, we. That's things that think are running too fast. Yeah, it is. It's true. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. So hopefully, you didn't miss too much. Uh, <laughs> what is? Maybe you can answer. Maybe you won't answer me. <laughs> I have a. We have a huge fig tree. Mm -hmm. When is the best time to try to make 
cuttings off of it to grow. Is there a best time? No, I honestly don't know. Um, it probably depends on where you're located. Obviously, yeah. being in Texas, your environment's a little bit different. Yeah. Then well, y'all are y'all y'all are up in mid Missouri, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, if you're like in Missouri, I would do it late winter. Yeah. Like. That's what I did. Like, well, last year, all the leaves were off of it, and I pruned it back, and it made a huge difference in how it grew this year. But I took all my prunings and I went and I stuck them down in my pile where I dump all my, my rabbit manure, uh -huh. compost, and all that stuff. Hopefully, it'll take. I, was, yeah. I didn't know what to do, um, so. The lady we were just talking to was talking about the, the root, root, yeah. root propagation. So there yeah. was a Facebook so I, I don't know anything figgy, about that. Figgy Riggy is what she was saying. If you figgy. Google Figgy Riggy, figgy riggy and okay. she was saying that you take a well, we sphagnum. We just, yeah, we're just so repeating. repeating yeah. what another lady said. But she was saying she takes sphagnum peat moss and takes two ends of like a two liter bottle and, tape, and puts them around the <laughs> oh yeah because i know when they start growing i had one spot where it grew on you know laid, laid down on the ground and it, it started rooting so i didn't yeah. even think so about getting some moss and putting yeah, around so it saying, and then she'll let it'll grow roots in there and then she'll just cut it off yeah that's that's a great idea thank you she was like north, almost yeah. Canada. Yeah, so she says she doesn't have as much luck with cuttings. But, well, might be worth yeah, a try. Yeah, or yeah. Mm -hmm. Googling it and seeing if they, yeah. Thank you for that. But yeah, I'm, we're definitely going to get some stuff for y'all because I've, a lot of YouTubers that we watch, nobody has ever had a bad word to say about y'all. That's good to hear. Yeah. And then, and then well, like I said, we've tried stuff, you know, like the Walmart and you know and the Lowe's and the stuff and we just don't have good luck with with tree long-term trees or anything I mean three years ago I bought my dad at Lowe's I bought him a couple of apple trees you know and plant them and one of them is just barely alive you know yeah and I, there's so much good information on our website yeah. um, a lot of times uh, you know the, the Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever they'll, they'll sell and people want to pick a variety that they can get in the grocery store yeah. but that may not be a good variety to grow where you're at well, I was just growing because my dad loves fruit you know, different different you know, size. buying a fruit for his birthday every every couple years ago yeah. we've, we've done lemons we, and so I, I decided you know part of it is him too but I've also decided we're not gonna get any more from them we just it's like our of course I, I killed our blackberry bushes we got last year when I plant for some reason when I, I instead of just digging the hole and sticking them in I loosened all the dirt so they had more room and I just they all died so we're gonna get from y'all this year for sure yeah, with okay. directions. With directions. With directions. <laughs> Thank you. Y'all have a blessed day. Thank you. You want to look? They have the, the braided stuff. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know. You familiar with Greg Judy? This is what he uses. Yeah. He, and that's why he likes it, just because, because of that, of that yeah, right there. That's the that only thing. Right. Yep, yep, right there. Yep, yep, yeah. Got you, got you. I do most of mine, but I'm going. Oh, pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. I've had the cheaper ones in here. It will. But I hold it. But if it's on the floor, it's going to Well, the, this one, I've got it. Your post, are those permanent posts or are they portable posts? They are permanent. Yeah. Okay. Once they're in the ground, it's really hard to get out. Yeah. This is more of our portable. Yeah. I just know to hold it like this as I unroll it. Okay. And it's not going to fall out. Yeah, usually what I do for that, I get. It's going to fall out. I got a bunch of. uh. 3H rebar. Oh, okay. And I just slide those little tie deals on it real quick. Yeah. Uh, we do. I really, I love electric fence. <laughs> it's the way to go. I tell you what, I wish I'd have found that that fence netting. I've used electric fencing since I was a kid. Yeah. But I wish I'd have found that poultry netting one years ago when it first came out. Because first time I. I swear, first time I saw it, I said, what in the world? That's a waste of money. <laughs> I got it now and I love it. Yeah. Move yeah. my chickens around. <laughs> is this a uh, tightener for this? It is. How much is that? That's like uh, 550 I think. 550 I might have to come back and get that at the end. Y'all going to be here all weekend, right? Yes, I will be. 
Because I love these. These work great for Yeah. Jesus. I mean, both of these I heard will last longer than do y'all sell chargers too or just a fence? We got it all. Anything you need for a electric fence, we got it. Okay. You're welcome to take one of these catalogs with you. Okay, right. yeah. It's got everything. You can't have too much information on well, stuff. That's it, that's it. If we'd have brought one of everything, we'd have needed a lot yeah. more space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I was hoping that would be some kind of portable deal the way that is right there. No, no, all that's permanent. I've got our portable kind of set up on the inside. Yeah. Okay, well, I thank you for your time. Yes, sir. I y'all have a blessed it. day. You too. Y'all enjoy yourselves. Thank you. Where do you want to go now? You want to just go dip, dip down in? I don't think there's anything else up here. I think it's all just the four, the three big tents. Or the three. Angel, stop, please. Hold this for me, girl. Hi. How are you doing? You know it's recording, right? Yes. I want to go around and look at all the foods. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Are you recording for me? Just to record. No, no, no. You videoing me? Oh here. Oh, I thought you I thought you gonna video for me. Good? Okay. Alright. Oh look, they have questions. They have lots of questions. Alright, let's get started. Remember the rules. Also, those asking questions, ask your question. Um, and don't ask like 10 million questions though. Because we could have conversations going forever. So we want to try to get as many questions as we can, okay? Let's go baby. Alright, let's get started. Go. The house is finished. <laughs> so, in case you guys didn't know, I'm done. My wife and I, we live in a log cabin, and after lots of convincing and being patient, we convinced mom to move out of the city. And we spent the last uh, eight months, me and my friend, building her a log cabin so she could move on our property. Because I'm a strong believer in taking care of my parents. Right? Amen. Especially when I saw, which was never even on my radar, that they would refuse you the opportunity to see your parent because they're in some kind of a facility. I never had that on my radar. So I would never, ever, you have to do what's right for you. Everybody's situation is different. Don't get, up, get upset from what I'm saying. But I would never put my mom in that situation, right? And I'm all she's got, right? So the house is done, mom's living in it, and I'll give you guys an update when I get home. Hello, I'm Claudia Williams. My husband and I have a 52-acre farm in Xenia. And my question to you, um, uh, Mr. Salatin, and every, everybody here, I want to know how you guys started working with interns, your thieves, thieves systems, and getting partners. Uh, I want to learn how to build my farm to be able to have people to come and join and, and, and help with around, because my husband and I are not spring chickens, so thank you. Is that on? Yeah. I'm going to defer to my son, Daniel, who really uh, uh, takes care of this more. I'll just start saying you have to have something that's attractive for people. You can't be, you, you can't start until you are a master. A master, a, a, a mentor can't mentor. In other words, a, a mentor has to have mastery in order to mentor. And so um, never start if you think this is going to be cheap labor. Uh, that's the wrong reason. <laughs> You start because you're a master and people are coming to you asking, could you teach me what you know? With that said, I'll turn over to Daniel to move forward with the fiefdom. There we go. Um, what I would also say is, with the right expectations, anybody can join you for the ride, okay? And so, not to defer the question, I'm gonna spend the next, on in at whatever two o'clock i'm going to spend an hour talking about this very subject intent what am i in a 
I don't know, wherever I'm supposed to be. Um, so we're going to dig down, dig deep into that. How does it look? What does it look like? And so if you can communicate what you are going to be doing, in other words, if you tell someone, hey, we're going to jump in the car and go to the supermarket, a lot of people jump in the car with you. But if you go to the museum instead of the supermarket, they're going to get upset. Okay? Or vice versa. <laughs> all right? And so all I'm saying is that if you're very clear in your communication about what I am doing, I am new to this. Again, the mastery is great. If you're going to mentor someone, you have to be a master. So two or three, four, five, ten years preferably into something. Um, but if you communicate what the relationship's going to look like and what the journey is, what part of the journey you are on, you can still have very successful relationships along the journey. Does that make sense? And so if you say, look, I am brand new to this, and you put your ad out there, wherever it is, eagerfarmer.com, Atra, um, wherever you put it, and say, hey, I just bought this farm, it's 20 acres, we're just getting started, I'm trying to be brief, and you get it out there and say, this is the journey, anybody wanna join me, you're clear of the expectations. And I'll drill down into this for another hour in 10A in just a bit, okay? But it's a great, great journey to be on, so good luck. Here we go. Uh, it worked. There you go. For a reason. Hello. Ah, it worked. All right. Um, so as someone who has been a farm apprentice on multiple occasions, uh, one thing that I learned through apprenticeship and mentorship was... I needed someone who was going to be solid. Um, and that's the biggest thing. It's not even just being an expert. It's someone who's a teacher. There are a lot of people that want to be famous. There are a lot of people that want to have spotlight. There are a lot of people that want to attract a lot of people. But if you're not a good teacher, I would not recommend it. If you don't have patience, I wouldn't recommend it. If you struggle having good character and being honest, I wouldn't recommend it. Like seriously. And it just sometimes it's just being honest and saying, you know what, I know that um, if I had an issue with my intern, I would not be able to honestly speak to them about a problem. If you feel like you're one of those people, and you'll know because sometimes your husband do something and you're like, ah, uh, I'm just going to hold it in. Sometimes your wife do something, you're like, mm. you're not saying anything, but you're making the grumpy face. Um, you know, so I highly recommend that. You gotta be super honest, not insulting, but super honest if you're gonna do this. And you gotta be able to get that rejection if they wanna have pushback to you. And I'll leave it at that, thanks. That's very wise and we'll spend a good bit of the time on that too, well, well said. Hi everybody. We're waiting, we're yeah. See if we can buy all I, I used to watch a lot of YouTube, but we started about a month and a half ago. Mm -hmm. And they're and talking about yeah. YouTube. Awesome. Yeah. Farm. And that really spikes into your time. You're watching YouTube. Yeah, I'm the one to go play. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of, it's funny, you know. People Catch you up on next video. Yeah. I've seen so many things that, that, that have made Say bye. I grew up. Bye. You're doing some hot and hard. Yep. Yep. Get your picture. Get your butt. Okay. Hold still, Chico. There's people here, that's what I said, from other places that aren't set up, other farms. Hey, open your book up first. Open. Here, you want some help? That is so great. Come here. That is so great. You there you go. I love that. it. I bet. Good for you. Okay, you ready? Where'd they go? She's right there. Oh, there she is. Where? Hey, there's his wife right there. You want to get her to sign it too? Right here. Angel with the red. Oh, she's going after. Yes, yeah, she loves to watch y'all. All right. There you go. How y'all doing? How you doing? How are you? Marty Bush. Marty? Nice, nice to meet you. you. Christina, nice to meet you. Yeah, we kind of watched y'all. Started watching y'all during y'all's journey. Through y'all's, wherever y'all left, right at that time y'all were leaving California. You've been with us for a long time. Yeah.
Well, we 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 binge watched you for a little bit to catch up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we no, we did we did we did back up and watch some of the stuff before and everything. That's a, so. there's a lot there. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot. <sighs> yeah, it takes a lot to do the YouTube. I'm finding that out. It it's does. A lot of work. We started. We me and her started about a month. Well, the end of August. Yeah. We started a channel for oh, our cool. farm and. Awesome. Oh. She has her own camera and everything. Right on. But it's. And a, I own phone. Nice. But you don't get to watch much YouTube when you're doing YouTube. You don't. <laughs> I found that out. It's a full-time job. Because I used to, I drive a truck and I work at nights and I'm, I load and that's when I would watch a lot of the YouTubes. Uh -huh. Well, now I'm editing. Right? <laughs> Instead of watching. It takes a while. We all are loved. Y'all are loved. She loves yeah. watching everybody. She can tell you everything about everybody. Yeah. I'll be like, who is that? She's like, da-da-da-da. And their kids are da-da-da. And yeah. the wife is da-da-da. That's awesome. So... Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good to meet you. Good nice to meet, to meet you. Have fun. Thank you. you too. Enjoy y'all's weekend. Hey, zip it up. We don't have to preserve anything. Looky there. A lot of people here for this good day. Day one of the Homesteaders Convention. We've done met people all the way from California. sure I got the right talk. In the home center's <laughs> spring, I was all prepared for the wrong talk. This is on entrepreneurship on the home set, right? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm excited about that. I don't get Angel expending some energy after a long day of sitting. Check it out tomorrow.
Mississippi. Nothing to see in the dark now. Good trip, but I'll be glad to be home. Oh, watch out for the big truck. 